Hi, welcome to this yoga inspired leg flow. Begin on the mat or on the floor, on your hands and knees in a tabletop position. Push the floor away, make sure not to hang on your shoulders. And now begin to curve and arch your back five times. Exhale to curve. Inhale to arch the back. Keep going four more times in your own tempo, warming up the spine preparing to have a good workout session today. Two more repetitions. And the next time you curve your back, stay here for a moment, inhaling and exhaling as deep as you can. To move on, send your upper body out to the right side to make five big circles with your body in your own tempo. Three more, as large and smooth as you can. Last one, before you change directions, five big circles to the left side. Keep breathing as deep as you can, warming up that spine. Last one, change directions again. Five circles to the right. Synchronize your breath if you want to, exhaling as you curve and inhaling as you arch your back. One more before you change directions. Five circles to the left. Inhaling at the bottom and exhaling at the top. Last one. Now come to a neutral position with your spine and step both of your feet behind you to a high plank. Now push your weight up and back to downward facing dog. Have a few seconds to settle in. Now with a wave like motion through your spine, send your weight forward to a high plank and push your weight up and back to downward facing dog. Keep going, four more. Wave forward to high plank. Push your weight up and back to downward facing dog. Three more. High plank, downward facing dog. Two more, high plank, downward facing dog. Last one, high plank to stay. Settle in. Now push your weight further over your hands five times in this position. Three more, two, last one. Prepare to repeat this sequence. Push your weight up and back to downward facing dog. Wave like motion through your spine to high plank. Four more, downward facing dog, high plank. Keep going three more times in your own tempo. Last repetition, come to high plank, push your weight forward over your hands five times. Last one, now step your left foot to the outside of your left hand to a runner's lunge. Push your knee into your left shoulder and hold for about 30 seconds, pushing the floor away with all of your Points of contact, maintaining a straight, strong spine, strong legs. Send your breath down in your body and find support through your breath. To switch sides, step your left foot back behind you. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Push your knee into your right shoulder, push the floor away. 30 seconds here, maintaining a straight spine. Find your breath, use your breath for support. To move on, step your right foot behind you to high plank. 
step your left foot to the outside of your left hand, release your left arm off the mat, reaching up to the ceiling, twisting your spine, hold here for about 30 seconds, opening your chest and actively pushing into the floor through your right arm, not leaning into your shoulder socket, but creating more room. Left hand finds the floor again to move on. Step your left foot behind you to high plank. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Release your right arm, reaching your arm up to the ceiling, twisting your spine, opening the chest. Strong legs, strong push into the floor through your left arm. Stay here for about 20 more seconds. Find your breath in your body, find your support. To move on, right hand finds the floor. Step your right foot behind you to high plank. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Turn out your right foot. Release your right hand off the floor, bring it out and over your head, creating a diagonal line from your right foot to your right fingertips. Hold the position for 30 more seconds, actively pushing the floor away with your legs, with your left arm, and stretching into space, finding the diagonal line through your body. To move on, right hand finds the floor to runner's lunge. Step your left foot behind you to high plank. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Turn out your left foot. Release your left arm off the mat. Bring it out and over your head. Create that diagonal line between your foot and your fingertips. Reaching out in space. Stay for 30 more seconds. Left hand finds the floor back to runner's lunge. Step your right foot behind you to high plank. Pay attention, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Bring your right foot closer, stretch both of your legs and bring your hips up. Slightly turn out your right foot to open your hips. Now release your right arm off the floor and reach up to the ceiling in a triangle pose. Stay here for about 30 seconds breathing as deep as you can. Now, if this is um, challenging, you can slightly bend your knees or you can try to lift your upper body up and uh, lean on your shin. Furthermore, you want to really reach out of your hips with your upper body, as well as pushing actively into the floor through your legs, specifically your legs, also your arm. To move on, right hand finds the floor and gently square off your hips so both of your feet are pointing straight forward. Now move your hands to the outside of your left foot, both of your hands. By pushing into the floor through your right hand, you can now, if this is comfortable, release your left arm up to the ceiling, reaching through your body, twisting your spine. Hold for 30 seconds. Look down on your right hand for balance or look up to your left hand for a challenge. Keep pushing the floor away, strong legs. Contract in your lower inner abdomen to protect your lower back. To move on, right hand finds the floor. Place your hands on each side of your left foot. 
hang over your leg if that is comfortable to you and stay here for about three to five breaths. You can maintain a small contraction in your lower abdomen for support. You can place the palms of your hands to the floor or you can bend your knee if that is more comfortable to you, of course. Pay attention, lift your right heel to a half point five times. Three more, two more. Last one to stay, either stay here or roll up through your spine all the way up to standing, push into the floor, find your core muscles, roll through your spine. Last thing that comes up is your head, the top of your head, arms come out to the side over your head and now roll down again, arms out to the side, rolling down, finding the floor with the palms of your hands and repeat five times to half point with your right foot, three more, two, last one to stay, find your core, come up, roll up through your spine, arms come out to the side, over your head, and begin rolling down, vertebra by vertebra, find the floor with the palms of your hands, repeat five times with your right foot, Three more, two more, last one to stay and come up, roll up through your spine, arms out to the side over your head, begin rolling down again, top of the head first, through your spine, find the floor with the palms of your hands, okay. Bring all of your weight over your left side, releasing your right foot off the floor, either stay here, contract in your lower abdomen for support or flex your right foot and try bringing your right knee or your right shin closer to your face, possibly touching your face. Hold this position for 30 seconds. So pushing the floor actively with your foot, your hands, creating an active contraction in your belly. This is not a stretch. This is a very active stretch, you could say, or an active position. Prepare to move on. Kick your right leg behind you as far as you can and pump it up 10 times in your own tempo. And when you're satisfied, bend your knee, open your hip and stay in this sort of a scorpion pose for about 30 seconds. Find the push into the floor with your left leg and use that to further reach up through your right knee. Prepare to release the position, bring your right leg back down. And if you can, you can step it right back to a runner's lunge. So stepping it as far behind you as you can. Bend your left knee, step your left foot behind you to a high plank. Settle in before you push your weight up and back to downward facing dog. Make sure you find a comfortable position to you. Adjust your feet, adjust your hands. And let's stay here for about a minute. Catch your breath and send your breath deep in your body. Allowing your body to soften and have a moment to relax. And when you're ready, prepare to repeat this last sequence to the other side. Come forward to a high plank. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lift your hips and bring your left foot closer, turning it out slightly. Then push into the floor through your right arm and release your left arm off the floor, reaching up towards the ceiling. 
finding that triangle pose stay here for 30 seconds reaching out of your hips with your upper body and actively pushing the floor with your feet and your arm if this is too uncomfortable to you you can modify by bending your knees or by leaning on your shin to move on bring your left hand to the floor now bring both of your hands to the outside of your right foot and if this is comfortable bring your right arm up reaching it to the ceiling twisting your spine Stay here for 30 seconds. You can modify by bending your knees or twisting less with your upper body. Engage your breath. Find support through your breath and through pushing the floor away, reaching up towards the sky. <laughs> right hand finds the floor. Place your hands on each side of your right leg and hang over your leg if that's comfortable to you. Stay here for three to five breaths. Engage your core, relax your body. Pay attention. Lift your left heel off the floor to half point five times. Two more. Last one to stay. Now engage your core and roll up through your spine all the way up to standing. Make sure to find your balance. Arms come out to the side over your head and begin rolling down. Arms out to the side. Find the floor with the palms of your hands and lift your heel five times in your own tempo. Two more. Last one to stay. And roll up through your spine, up to standing. Arms come out to the side over your head. Arms out, roll back down. Vertebra by vertebra, palms to the floor. Lift your heel off five times. Two more. Last one to stay. Roll up through your spine. Arms come out to the side. Over your head. Exhale to roll down. Arms out to the sides. Find the floor with the palms of your hands. Well done. And when you're ready, shift your weight all the way over your right leg, releasing your left foot off the floor. Now you want to push into the floor to lift the left side of your hip so you're not hanging on your hip. Either stay here or flex your left foot and try to bring your left knee as close as you can to your face by contracting your core. Stay here for about 30 seconds. This is a very active position you're pushing actively into the floor. You're contracting your abdomen. You're pushing your uh, leg towards your torso. A lot of things going on. Keep breathing as deep as you can. Find the support in your breath. Now kick your left leg up behind you and pump it up 10 times. Do a few more. Now open your hip further and bend your knee to a scorpion-like pose and stay here for 30 more seconds. Keeping the push into the floor to keep your strength in your body. Pushing into the floor with your right leg and reaching further up through your left leg or your left knee. And when you feel satisfied, come down with your leg now see if you can step your left leg as far behind you as you can to a runner's lunge. Step your right foot behind you to a high plank. Take your time and push your weight up and back to downward facing dog. 
Find the position that is comfortable to you and stay here for one full minute. Reconnecting with your breath, finding your body in this position, finding stillness in your body and your mind. Now gently shift your weight forward as you release the knees to the floor or the mat beneath you. Widen the stance between your knees and sit back on your heels to a child's pose, resting your forehead to the floor. Stay here for one full minute. This is the last thing we do in this class. This is your moment to soften your body and completely surrender to the floor, allowing your flesh to meet the floor and melt into it. And you are of course very welcome to stay here for as long as you want. And I'll take this opportunity to thank you so much for being here today. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Ciao.